the summer, I was given the opportunity to gain experience in this type of research through an RAU grant that gave me funding to work in the Hendricks Lab at the University of Iowa to work with urban bee ecology research. This grant enables me to gain experience in my field while also learning about the scientific process, scientific integrity, and making connections to help prepare me for my future career endeavors. My work in the Hendricks Lab is focused on the study of urban bee abundance and its correlation with the abundance of non-herbaceous vegetation. My research with the bees is one small part of a larger scale urban forest study. My name is uh, Steve Hendricks. I'm Professor Emeritus of Biology uh, at the University of Iowa and I've held a faculty position here at the University for 44 years. The urban forest study is an attempt to examine all of the different uh, layers of urban forest and what they might contribute to sustainability in urban areas. We're interested in urban forests because probably something like 80 or so percent of the human population lives in urban areas. We're now beginning to understand that in fact the urban environment is shaping the evolution of many species of plants and animals. And frankly, we just don't understand what goes on in urban areas uh, that well yet. Well, our study will be one of the first ones that's attempted to integrate uh, an analysis of uh, all of the different layers of forest and how they might contribute uh, to sustainability in urban environments. This urban forest study takes place in 46 locations in Johnson County. The bees in our study are sampled in 18 out of the 46 plots. Plant surveys of all 46 plots account for non-herbaceous vegetation and bloom that provide resources to the bees. This data leads us to our overall goal of finding if bee abundance is correlated with the abundance of non-herbaceous vegetation in these urban sites. From here, we can ask questions about what this data means and changes homeowners and cities can enact to increase pollinator abundance. This program has given me the opportunity to learn about conducting research and applying this research to ecological issues.